Hey everybody, welcome back to Nika Brothers. We're out here working on our 2021 Alpine fifth wheel camper. We picked it up from Texas, I believe. Yeah, it was about a thousand mile road trip and we hauled it back to the shop. So we're here, we're kind of waiting for the title to come in. Now it's here, so we're motivated to work on it again. Because that was definitely a trip. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. It was an adventure, for sure. We needed a couple days to recover from that, because man, it was cold, it was rainy, we're on the side of the road, replacing the axles, frame bent. I was just happy we made it back to the shop. But now we could have the welder, we could have the right tools, we could set it up and properly get it fixed and repaired. So they're pretty flimsy. The game plan is to take the axles off, basically, straighten up the rails, reinforce the rails, the frames, and then repair it, put the, I guess axles back on because they're good. Like I said, we made a thousand, year, thousand mile road trip, but definitely sketchy. So hopefully once we're done with it, it'll be good to go. First thing I'm gonna do is get it jacked up, take the tires off and see how bad it is. As you can tell, the tires are definitely crooked. This one's pushed forward, that one's pushed in sideways, but it wasn't fish tailing at us or anything. I mean, it was driving pretty okay. And the tires didn't cup at all. Not bad, I mean, a little bit of wear, but not bad at all. So we'll get these off, get it repaired. It looks like we've lost the bolt. Thank you. Sheesh. Definitely need some new U-bolts for sure. That was kind of sketchy, but like I said, we're fine. It's not the weekend. <laughs> it's nice, it's not middle, you know, at night or something like that. So it's good. We're in a safe location, not the side of the road. Fine, we'll get it done. Wow guys, check that out. Already broken off. Definitely holding on by a thread. But hey, we're here, we're safe, we're sound. <laughs> so I'm happy to not be driving on this thing right now. It definitely needs a lot of work. As you can tell, the frame is bowed in and out, around. So we're doing this number, we're doing this number. A lot of work in the frame. That's definitely possible. Surprisingly, it's not that thick, so it kind of bent. Plus bends. it's not secure, so. Once we, it's easy to flex, but it doesn't stay. So that's why we gotta weld it and all that stuff. Right. Put it in the right spot, brace it, weld it. Put it in the right spot, brace it and weld it. So, yeah. We'll be good. Let's we'll be keep good. working. Let's probably take apart this side of the axle so we'll let them hang. And then uh, it'll be easier for us to uh, pull the frame and stuff like that. Right. Let's do it. I'm just gonna go underneath and take off all our chains and straps and let it free fall. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. So check it out. This side's actually looking really good. Already pulled out. This side wasn't too bad from the beginning, but overall got it to pull. So nice. Ivan's in there securing with an angle iron. We got some steel tubing. We're gonna re-weld on there as well. Looking good, looking good. Nice. You can see that or not. Got it strained out. All right, guys, got the welder. Got some braces. Going to town. I can see you welding through, that's good. So we got all the heavy equipment out here. Got the forklift, excavator, basically pulling that, putting tension on it right now to the frame rail, to get it straight, and then he's welding on the square tubing, angle iron. All sorts of goodies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I had a plank over, but somebody got it. What the? Oh, it's really good. Who could it have been? All right, let's move on to this side.
So right over here, we'll put a nice steel tube. Perfect measurement, nice tight, snug fit. Get it done. Getting it. So I'm over here on the frame machine, actually doing some steel tubing, cutting, and got it marked off. So basically I just marked it first, and then I scribed it, got my square, make sure it's 90. I'm gonna mark it all around. The easier you see your line, the straighter you are. So we'll get that going, just a good old fashioned angle grinder, but I'll clamp it so it should be good. I make three bars basically, one for the axles and one in the middle. That way we know we're the same. We're centered, we're straight this way with the angle iron and we got the tubing to keep the distance. So reinforcing, I'm kind of surprised that it didn't have any reinforcing before. So this is definitely gonna be better and sturdier, I would say. So let's get it cut and weld it in. All right guys, there we go. I know it seems like it's been really quick, but it's actually been days. We have been going at it, but hey, it looks brand new, good to go. We got it undercoated, lined up. Now we're getting it jacked up to put the wheels back on. Basically just using an airlift. Getting this thing nice and easy because we're still being careful. But wow, so much straighter. We got it painted underneath, all around, weighted, looking good. There we go. Let's go a little higher, nice and easy. We are on blocks right now. Say when. Perfect. Already the position looks so much better than it was before. Sticking out, sticking in. We'll see once we get both of them on there. All four. Man, needs a bath pretty bad. A little more from my side. All right guys, all four wheels are on and straight as an arrow. Honestly, I love the frame support on there. We got the three rectangle tube basically on there as well as the angle iron all welded together, all the same size. So yeah, better than OEM I would say because before it was just two frame rails and there's no support for them kind of thing. Little brackets welded on but now secure i feel really confident about it and it's looking good so we're happy about that but unfortunately it's getting late so tomorrow we'll have to pull it out of the dirt go out there get it washed up put the little fender liners on there check everything underneath basically finish it up and see what it looks like and hit the road go for a drive also, check out we, the inside yeah we haven't checked we haven't checked out the inside yet we just wanted to make sure we get the outside the frame all good and feeling good about that so we'll get it cleaned up we'll get it opened up and take it out tomorrow so that's the plan Wow, definitely been a couple fun days. Getting dirty, crawling underneath there, getting it done. A lot of hard work, a lot of physical labor kind of thing, but hey, get it done. We'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, all right guys, this is the next day and we are going at it. Basically out with the old, some of these got bent during our fun time in Texas, but now we have new ones. So we got new steps, adding those on. We got our little plastic covers on, our frame's good. Both sides, we're gonna do all the ones in the rear. So just taking off the old ones, fixing up little things, cleaning up, making it look good. Definitely clean it up nice. Can't wait to get this thing washed up inside and out because man, it's been in the mud for far too long. It's gonna look good. We got this side installed. 
This side's done as well. Underneath's looking good. Oh, all week I've been messing with this thing. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and close that window and get this thing washed up. Get all that mud off there. Can't wait, finally. Showtime. All right, guys, there we go, our first road trip. We're actually doing the auto leveling right now with the leveling jacks. Might as well test them out. We just installed the new jacks on there with the brackets. So, yeah, it is going to town. It is leveling out. But honestly, it rode here no problem. It was very smooth. Man, it's pretty crazy how big this thing is, but you can really tell once you start washing it, every square inch. This thing's massive and it's so tall. This is pretty crazy. So let's see, auto extending, auto leveling systems going to town by itself. It's pretty cool. Definitely really nice, but I said we check out the outside because it is getting dark already. It's pretty crazy. We are gonna get inside, but let's check about the outside features first. Maybe open up the cabinets, see how big this thing is, make sure all the slides work, and then we'll go inside. All right guys, so the slide outs actually came out beautifully before we had some issues when the frame was kind of crooked, but now that we're leveled out, everything's straight, they're sliding in and out, no problem. Like I said, we'll go about the inside a little later because I said the sun's going down, but check it out, everything came out. Beautiful fifth wheel camper, 2021. I mean, the okay. outside wasn't damaged that bad, it was more underneath, but. Yeah, more frame damage, more of the suspension, but wow, I mean. Dang, what an adventure, getting this thing from Texas, thousand mile road trip, getting the frame repaired. I mean, level and jacks are doing its job. We're literally off the ground. A lot easier to change a tire now. So that's nice. And they're looking straight too, after oh, yeah. what we drove. Looking straight, in line. They're not flexing, nothing. It's more reinforced than factory. I think we, we did a better job. Oh yeah, better than OEM for sure. It's pretty crazy, like I said, there's not much there, but now we have three bars, angle iron, all sorts of reinforcement, so that's pretty nice. I mean, just check how massive this thing is. It's crazy. But wow, they've definitely been around, what, 2021? But these guys have been camping. If these stickers are real, boom, boom, boom. There, there are only a couple states left. I don't know how you get to Hawaii, but not a camper. Text, I mean, Alaska, yeah, that, that still work out. Wow. These guys were no joke camping. They took I mean, it seriously. they were in South Carolina too, apparently. Yeah, been there, done that, but I guess Texas was the last one. That's where it broke down. Let's keep checking this thing out. <whistles> Trail lights were working just fine, plugged right in. Brake lights, I mean, uh, brake park, lights, uh, yeah. trailer brakes working? Yeah, yeah, tried those out. All these slides are looking good. That's washed up nicely. Room. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's got the retractable power cable. So basically. I mean, we're gonna ready. hook it up and check it yeah. out. Yeah, we'll do that back of the shop, but just wanna look at the outside first. Alright guys, let's go ahead and check out the inside. It's the next day. Like I said, I've been working this thing all week. Let's check out what we have. Big old steps. I mean, check out those steps. First is the door. So high off the ground. Very massive. Let's get it down. Alrighty. It's got like a little soft close. Pretty cool so it doesn't fall in your face. There you go. Nice. Little home mat. Oh yeah. So this is the main living room area. Got our fan running. Let me check out how high the ceiling is. Eight feet for a camper, that's that's pretty crazy. You definitely don't feel like you're inside a camper. We are missing our dining room table, but hey, nice spot for it, no big deal. It's our main control system right here. Got the same thing like our other camper. Password zero, 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 of course, but then you can control everything off your phone, all the slides, all the lights. Pretty sweet couches. These actually are power couches, so they incline and some buttons on the side right there, pretty sweet. Headrest, just in case, you know. Oh yeah. Very nice. Got some more couches, an entertainment system. I got it plugged in right now for the 50 amp, so everything should be working. 
So we got our TV on. Not sure exactly what we could do with it, but it's working. There's our little handbook right there. So all the manuals are inside, which is pretty sweet. I mean, that's pretty crazy. That's, you're gonna need like a step ladder just to get to those drawers over there, but that's doing nice. Plenty of space to hang out, dining room, living room, hangout area, like I said. Pretty sweet, let's move on to the master bedroom. Got it all cleaned up. So you got your bed. I'd say it's a pretty big size. I don't know if it's a king bed or might be. Another little TV over here. So I guess you just got drapes instead of the doors. They got rid of that. Pretty interesting. Big old shower, especially for a camper. I mean, that's pretty big for any kind of shower. Double sinks. I guess they added some mirrors for themselves, why not? Kind of everywhere. Against the walls. Whatever. What's well, one more mirror, right? So pretty nice. Like I said, the inside wasn't even bad during the damage. It was mainly the suspension and they took the table, so not bad at all. Let's go check out the kitchen area. The 40 foot camper. Central vac system's pretty sweet. I seen the tubes inside the cubbies. Nice little bar stool slash maybe laptop, desktop area. So that's very useful. So this is more of like a normal ceiling height for a camper. But check out all this counter space. I mean, boom, 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 moving over. And then you still have more back there, here, depth. Definitely nice. Got your oven. I think we're out of gas, so I can't really turn that on. But overall, it's looking great. Beautiful camper. All right, guys, so I'm just hanging out in the camper. Very sweet. I mean, a lot of little features here and there. So I got a wireless charging port right there. Pretty cool. I mean, the, the view is awesome. So basically, this is what I'm seeing. You're just hanging out. Very comfortable. I actually like the design. It's different than the other fifth wheel that we had at Pine, but why not? But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. Let us know what you guys thought about the suspension haul over framework again this thing back to the shop getting it done it was definitely a lot of work basically it took us a week we have more builds that we're trying to catch up on we actually bought some new projects so make sure you stay tuned and don't miss out on those leave some comments below if you like the campers or you want to stick to sports cars old cars new cars big cars whatever we're kind of diverse in everything but love reading your feedback on it and we'd love to know your opinions on it so thanks guys love all the support thank you so much for everything catch you next time